The Design Against Fair project was a unique approach to the non-use of fur in fashion, but just how ethical is fur and what are designers doing instead? My work tends to be more about craftsmanship. Yeah, and it makes between um, tradition and technology, um, the contrast between different fabrics like neoprene and wool. What is your like general opinion on fur? Um, I particularly don't like it unless it's vintage. Um, there's always a bit of a moral dilemma with wearing fur because obviously animals have been killed for it but it does look good. Um, so I can understand why other designers would want to use it, but use it, but personally I just, I think there's other alternatives that you can use instead. So why did you believe so strongly in the project Design Against Fur? Well, the main premise of the, of the project was to use alternatives to fur using craftsmanship as a basis, and because my whole philosophy is about craftsmanship, um, that's what drew me in, and I wanted to use that as a way to show we don't always have to use fur, that there are other things. And it was a way to also highlight craftsmanship as well as not using fur. What do you think about designers who do use fur? Do you think, do you have an opinion of them, like a, like you should be using different materials? or? Um, well, there's the brand Copenhagen Fur, which I... I look at every season just to see what they're doing and they do come up with some amazing things. Um, and it is wonderful to see because it is great design. But I, I still just can't get over the fact that they have created this industry and sustained this industry um, when evolutionary it's not meant to happen. We're not meant to have fur industries. Um, we're not meant to have leather or crocodile farming industries either. Um, like Crocodiles are a prehistoric animal and it's only now that they're in danger because of us. Between 1954 and 1970 there was two to three million skins sold each year from crocodiles um, but by 1984 it reduced to one million because wild crocodiles were dying out. Um, and there's a farm in uh, Australia I believe which produces 12 to 15,000 skins every year, selling them all to European fashion houses. So the ones that were for handbags and shoes. Um, according to WWS 2008 Trade and Wildlife Report, 50 million products made from reptiles are traded each year. Which is just... And it's mental. They're, 50 million. they're all being bought. 50 million, did you 50 say? 50 million. Wow, that's a huge amount. Like a lot of handbags. That's so many. So it was this that just made me stop being ignorant about this fact and uh, it also made me question my use of leather as well. A lot of the time I'd thought of leather as being a very durable fabric and it was better than using synthetic leather because of the chemicals used and the energy. Um, but now I'm, it's made me question, do I even wear leather? Because if I'm not willing to use crocodile then I shouldn't be willing to use everything else. Um, so it's not, I, I feel like a lot of fur and skin designers need to question a bit more what they're doing. It, it kind of feels a bit inhuman for them to still be doing it, but each to their own. I don't think I'd ever be able to stop them just like they'd never be able to stop me from doing what I love.